Hello, this is Sean Kelly at the red carpet for the world premiere of Seeds. All right, so um, could you talk a bit about the character you play in the film? Yeah, I got to play Wiz, that's the cousin of uh, Ziggy, for this uh, for the production of Seeds. And I, you know, I got to play the wisecracking uh, cousin that teased, her all, teased the main character the whole time. Yeah, I, f I found that um, your character kind of like adds some humor to what is otherwise a tense film. So, um, um, how would you say that the dynamic between Ziggy and Wiz is? <laughs> Brother and sister. I mean, I think it's really representative of, of indigenous communities and the dynamic dynamic between cousins who are often see each other as siblings. Um, and so I was really, uh, really, really happy to bring that uh, levity to the story. I know that you know it's a, 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 a suspense story, but there's a lot of um, grounded comedy in it as well. Yeah. And um, you were the one to, to warn Ziggy of. The Evo Seed Company. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I was the brains behind the whole operation here. I was the one that kind of saw the what was on the horizon. I tried to warn Ziggy as much as possible, but did she learn? I think in the end she did. So, yeah, it was great to be a part of. So, uh, could you talk a bit about your um, character in the film? Uh, talk a bit about my character. Uh, I play Bandit. My name is Miguel Fairbrother. Uh, I'm just so excited to join the cast uh, of Seeds, uh, Dio's uh, directorial debut. Um, and uh, yeah, getting to uh, portray one of our uh, Onkwe Honwe men, uh, who obviously has a healing journey himself, uh, in support of this Onkwe Honwe woman warrior. Uh, it's just such an honor to be part of this film. I love it. All right, uh, so um, uh, how, did you, what, how did you get the idea for this film? I got the idea by, I really liked um, Home Alone, and I just sort of started from that. The movie Home Alone, a home invasion film, and I sort of built off of that, and then it came what it is. <laughs> so um, I uh, well, interpreted the film. I, I was a, I was a previously a fan of um, the late Jeff Barnaby's films, and I I, I I found a lot of similarities between what Seeds does with um, his film. So could you talk about like? Having like a genre film that also deals with like native issues. Yeah, I think it's an it's a it's a good way to get some messages across while at the same time entertaining an audience and getting to play with blood, guts, and gore. <laughs> and I, I also have to talk about your decision to have like uh, Graham Greene is like the sage Uncle G, and um, I, I definitely I verbally reacted when you um, like name dropped uh, clear cut at one point oh yeah you like that one yeah that's one of the best movies ever so yeah it was an honor to be able to have him with us for the day okay so uh thanks very much hello this is sean kelly at the red carpet for the um, tiff premiere of honora Uh, could you um, talk about your um, how you consulted on the film? Sure. Um, well, basically, um, Sean would send me uh, a script, and then I would do a little critique, and then send it back to him. And then we'd have a meeting, and we talk about it, and we just did that a couple times. And yeah, that was my job. Yeah. So, um, just um, have you um, seen the final film yet? I have not seen the final film yet. I will see it with everyone else tonight. In the film, your characters are kind of depicted somewhat as antagonists, but as the film progresses, um, Tauros in particular is probably the most level-headed character in the film, so um, how would you um, describe your characters? My character is a family man. He's a loving man, so he's, he's at some point of his life, his, his job is, is a jeopardy, and he, he has to he has to do what he has to do in order to save his work. He's, into, you know, because he supports his family. So he's a loving guy. He's just, you know, in, in the circumstances, he has to deal with 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 this situation, and he deals it the best he can. Yeah, um, about my character. Um, so my character is he moved to United States lately, and he has his like big cousin who's kind of in, char in charge of him. And, and, but he's trying to be important and look like, like, like a gangster or something, but every single situation make him, <laughs> put him in a worse situation, even bad and bad. And, and it actually it's becoming very, very funny and silly comedy on my side, which is, which is kind of cool. I love it.
Okay, thanks. So, um, your character kind of like has a, a love-hate relationship with Annie throughout the film, so describe your dynamic with uh, Mikey Madison throughout the film. Of Mikey Madison. Wow. She is an incredible uh, dynamic uh, because uh, she's going from very, very down, it's under earth, and she's going to the sky, <laughs> to the yeah, to space, the you know? Uh, yeah, do you understand? Hello, this is Sean Kelly at the TIFF Red Carpet for Young Werther. Okay, so um, how did you go about um, creating a modern adaptation of the original novella? I mean, it was just looking at the, the source material and um, not worrying so much about making it a beat-for-beat -beat recreation of the book, uh, and just trying to find the spirit of it and really focusing on the characters and bringing them to life in a way that felt um, true to how they were written, uh, but then just freshening them up enough uh, so that they would feel correct in a, in a modern adaptation. So, was it always your intent to have this version be set in Toronto? Yes, I mean, I love, I, I've been living in Toronto for 20 years now, and it's my, it's my chosen home. Uh, I love the city so much, and I really think it's so, so beautiful. You know, it's, it's, it's not as known on screen as, um, you know, sort of the great cities of the world, the, the New Yorks, the Parises, the what have you, whatever you like, but uh, Toronto is a world-class city, and it really, I, I think, deserves to be seen on screen in a way that feels cinematic and beautiful and uh, respectful of, uh, of the neighborhoods and the, and the cultures that, um, that make it feel like such a special place. Hey, right, thanks. All right, so uh, um, were you uh, previously familiar with the original novella, and um, how did you go about playing like a modern take of the role? I, I obviously knew the book in Europe, especially in Europe, because it's particularly very, very famous. Um, and but I mean, all the all the hard work, the adaptation came from Jose, who has, has such an original and brilliant mind. Uh, so all the hard work was done for me on that front, and I really just had to bring his, his character to life, but that was helped by the fact that he'd written the most brilliant, witty, fun, z zappy, exciting dialogue. Um, so, yeah, it was just really, he'd taken care of the adaptation, and really I just had to sort of bring this character to life. Yeah. So, like, um, how, how was it like working on a Canadian production and, like, starring with, like, um, Scott Thompson of Kids in the Hall? It was, it's very cool. This is my fourth or fifth film I've, I've had at TIFF. Um, so I've, I've had a lot of time in Toronto at the film festival. This is my first time probably working here. Um, so that was really exciting. I, I fell in love with the city. I fell in love with the people. We ha you have like, uh, it's an incredible crew here. Really like talented individuals who put like everything into this movie. So it is in a way a love letter to Toronto. So um, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited to be premiering here at TIFF. Uh, and have, being able to have so many of the cast, um, well, and the crew and their families here to watch it here today, so, yeah. So, um, what do you hope uh, people take away from Young Werver who have never read the book? I hope they, I hope they fall in love with it. I hope they, it's a movie that they want to show their friends and family, loved ones, their children, and I hope they want to watch it over and over again because it, it's got so much heart, it's full of love. I hope they, yeah, I hope they just, come away um, filled with a little bit of joy while at the same time sort of thinking a bit more about their relationships and love and loss um, at the same time, yeah. All right, thanks. thanks.